Hello, Ooh. everyone. You sure? Have I started? I don't know. Am I starting up the stairs or down the stairs? <laughs> oh, gosh, I miss Corny. <laughs> yeah. Corny was Okay, awesome. getting an ad. Of course you're getting an ad. For Best Buy. Ah, 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 there we are. Hey, that's me. I recognize myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm no way. That's the wrong thing. Oh, I'm all excited to be on camera. There we go. Coral kitten, get out of the way. Meow. <laughs> you're hugging. You're hugging my spotlight. <laughs> Hello, all. Welcome, welcome. We're just starting on time. Uh, we kind of had the something of a miserable time, and Alex uh, ate savage this afternoon, so we gave up and helped Acton get his clears and nine and ten savage, and we'll figure it out from there. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh do we want to do my nin first or do we want to go do the rising well, let's get the rising over with just because it doesn't last that long okay at least we'll look good doing it mm -hmm. <laughs> these look really good on the bun buns <laughs> okay off to old uh... Hello, Cold. Hello, Aki. Hello, Ripley. Mm -hmm. Hello, Baron. <laughs> ah, hold on. We'll just go straight there. Yep. 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 Oh, no. Not the evil lag monster. Ooh. Good luck slaying that one. Oh, it, it was sad. We were, um,. I was in Hero's Gauntlet last night with a few people, and oh, one of them took a uh, big slice right to the face, and afterward was, I was clear of that! And I'm like, that was a lag kill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing says lag kill like being farted over the edge by Titan. Ah, uh, Titan. Yes, Titan. <laughs> uh, and we went to go to Ruby Road. So I hope you've all had a great Sunday afternoon. Ooh, fireworks. Pretty. Mm-hmm. We'll get a nice shot of them later. Indeed. Uh, I see we're not the only ones dre uh, dressed for uh, the occasion. Oh, I'm sorry, cold. Oh. Why I just... Yeah. Yeah. Art Jib of glass. Jibintia. Hmm? The centerpiece of this year's Rising Festivities is a work of art courtesy of Jibintia, who hopes to foster goodwill among the citizens of Old Da. Hello there. Would I be incorrect in assuming you've come to view my exhibition? Yeah. Either that or find out why, why Answers is echoing across the city. <laughs> you see, I'm an artist by trade, and my chosen medium is stained glass. While it's not the easiest thing to work with, the results are worth the considerable effort required. It's taken me a while to reach this point in my career, and this is actually my first public showing. I was wondering, if it's not too much of a bother, if I might give you a brief explanation of the subject matter. Yes, please. And this is going to go into 1.0 story. Always does for the rising. Mm. <clears throat> then pray, my good lady, cast your eyes at yonder pain. Twas the final days before the fall of Dalamud. It's an inexorable approach foretelling our impending doom. 
Panic spread like wildfire, while many in their desperation turned on the Sultanate. Looting and rioting broke out across the Ulda. To quell the masses, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Olnamo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects, for they alone had the courage to stand with their Sultana. There she addressed the rabble. Heed me, my beloved citizens. The realm lies upon the brink of the Seventh Umbral Era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forgive or forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to prefer him the hand of succor. She was determined not to let the city that the immortal flames were risking their lives to defend tear itself apart in their absence. Her words brought the people to their senses. They laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves had inflicted on Old Da. Thanks to Her Majesty's impassioned speech, those who returned from the battlefield found their home much as they'd left it, a gleaming jewel in the desert. <sighs> it all seemed so long ago. To see the place today, you'd think that the people had entirely forgotten her words that day. The same hands that were once proffered in succor now grasp greedily at every last coin, even if it means one's fellow man must go hungry. It's times like these that we must remind ourselves of the sacrifices of those who came before us, which is why the Rising Festival is of such profound importance. I draw inspiration from Her Majesty's deeds all those years ago, and through my, own, my work, perhaps others might do the same. Dear me, I'd better stop before I'm overcome with emotion. There are, in fact, matters to which I must attend, and if I'm not mistaken, you are an adventurer, yes? I have something you might be able to help me with, if you're willing. In addition to having my steamed glass on display, it's been arranged that a wandering minstrel give a recital as part of the festivities. I'm looking in to gather as many spectators as possible, but I fear I'll struggle to cover the necessary ground myself. Perhaps you could give me a hand. Twelve, bless you, madams. I plan to hand out these flyers, and with the three of us, we'll be able to reach twice a, uh, three times the number of people in the same span of time. What I get for on-the-fly editing. If you'd be any so kind as to look for the potential attendees around the steps of fall, I'll head for the Sapphire Avenue exchange. Let's meet there when you're done. Oh, that mail! I wonder what that could be! <laughs> Nothing important, I'm sure. Are you sure? It could be important. I mean... It, Probably junk mail. It's from a Moogle. I don't think they deliver junk mail. That tends to get lost in the post, which is why we kind of yeah, like the Yeah, they're too Moogles. lazy to deliver junk mail. Yes, they are too lazy to deliver junk mail. Ooh, it's my Coco carriage whistle. Neato. Why is it? I'm sure it was nothing important. You say that now. <laughs> Let's see, first person, the obviously affluent citizen, because obviously. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, would you like to come see a show? Rising Festival Flyer. Considering that it is designed to advertise an art exhibition, this flyer, stra this flyer strangely does not include any illustrations. Perhaps Jubintia was unwilling to compromise his artistic vision by working with such humdrum materials as paper. Okay. <laughs> uh, I see Baron has weighed in on that idea. <laughs> That does sound rather intriguing. If it's the same minstrel my associates have mentioned on occasion, I'd best go and see what all the fuss is about. I hear he's rather talented. Yeah, that, that was a good spit take, dear. <laughs> yeah, right.
the noticeably dusty citizen. Yes. <laughs> Got something you want digging up? Uh, Not actually, so much. Actually, no. We'd like you to invite you to a nut show. Yeah. Just, just like that. Hmm. Can't say I'm much of an expert when it comes to music and fine art. But it ain't often a bloke like me gets a chance to sample the high life. I'd be a fool to miss it. Well, let's be honest. Art shows are the best way for college students to get free booze and food. <laughs> Intimately approachable citizen. Hello, madam. May I help you? Yeah, come to an art show. It's pretty. Stained glass, depicting the Sultana herself, no less. I've always been a loyal supporter of hers, and it would be remiss of me to pass up such an opportunity. I shall be sure to attend. Everyone teleports around here. Mm-hmm. No, we are not safe old dead people. We have corporeal ether, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh dear. You seem to have something of an argument here. You've got a disgruntled merchant oh, and a fellow by the name of Aston. Disgruntled? Yeah. Of all the rotten luck. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were trying to avoid me. Oh boy. Uh, ben, what's all this about? <laughs> well done. Much appreciated. But I'm afraid I've run into a bit of a problem. I was in the process of handing a flyer to this gentleman when my friend Aston showed up out of the blue. As chance would have it, these two chaps are previously acquainted, though they do not appear to be on particularly good terms. But how am I supposed to pay you back if the amount keeps going up? If you'd coughed up the money on the day we'd originally agreed, there wouldn't be so much interest to pay. You've only got yourself to blame. But Aston, if your interest rates weren't so high, perhaps he'd have been able to pay you back by now. I'm not saying you should wipe this slate clean, but surely you can come to a compromise. All I want is for him to honor our agreement. What's wrong with that? Besides, I've held up my side of the bargain, so why do I have to be the one to compromise? Uh, but let's say I give you the benefit of the doubt, that you genuinely lack the means to pay me back. I'll grant you one week's extension, but if you still don't have the money by then, there will be consequences. Only a week? All right, you damned vulture, you'll get your gill, and I'll be rid of you for good. I'm sad to say that such incidents are part of everyday life in Old Awe. Someone in financial difficulty sees a moneylender as the answer to their woes, like an oasis in the desert. But it's only a mirage, an illusion of salvation, leading them into even greater debt. Then again, many debtors will borrow money without any intention of paying it back, relying on an endless stream of short-term solutions. <sighs> I hope that those who look upon my art will remember the words of the Sultana, and seek to help rather than exploit one another. Those two chaps saw you saw arguing just now would benefit from it, I'm sure. You know, Aston wasn't always like that. He's picked me up when I was down more times than I can count. We both grew up on the streets of Ulda with no one to turn to but each other. The only reason I'm even here today, making a living as an artist of all things, is because of Aston and his talent for business. With a few words and a couple of handshakes, he could turn a gill into a gold mine. But as years passed, it became an obsession. No matter how much coin he made, it was never enough. 
I wish he'd realize there's more to life than personal gain, but nothing I say gets through to him. That's part of the reason why I turned to stained glass art in the first place. It can express my inner thoughts far better than words ever could. Well, my words, at any rate. Hmm. Oh, goodness, I do apologize. You must think I'm an awful bore to rope you into helping only to bombard you with complaints and sob stories. But enough of that. It's high time I returned to the exhibition and prepared for the arrival of the minstrel. Um, remember our high school friend, Elena? Yes? That weird tree she had in the front yard? That was a Durham tree. Yeah, you've mentioned that. Uh, they kind of planted it illegally. <laughs> she liked it before it became ripe. Yeah. And she thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. After it became ripe, it was this hideous thing she didn't want to touch. <laughs> I've actually had a little of it in the unripe state, and it actually wasn't bad. Oh, no, no, no. Don't touch the smoothies with a 10-foot pole. Distraught youth. Um, oh, Oops. by the way, uh, where's the stained class that was there? Um, I've yeah. got a bad feeling. If we'd known this would happen, we would have never gone near it. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh dear. <sighs> there you are. I hate to say this, but we've run into a slight problem. And by slight problem, I actually mean rather a huge catastrophe. So huge, in fact, I need a moment to compose myself. While I'm loath to impose on you any further, I have a feeling I may need your help again. At least some moral support. Distraught Youth Trail does the same thing. Yep. So, you ready for a moral support time? Uh, yes! Yes! We're, we're very good at moral support. Mm hmm Class from the past. Jibentia's heart is not the only thing that is broken. All right, enough panicking. It's time for decisive action. While we were out distributing flyers, these children were a little overzealous when it came to admiring my artwork. It seems they were unaware of the look but don't touch rule that normally applies to these things, and... Well, it fell on the floor and shattered. That's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, kid. Slumber. Definitely. <laughs> definitely bad. Mm. I'm going to go with the, uh, with one from the other night. Yeah, yeah. I suggest a staging. I suggest a... staging a play based on the same scene. I will be Nanamo. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first thought that crossed my mind. I must admit. The recital is due to begin any moment now, so the only viable option is to repair the smashed pane as best we can. I think that with a little adhesive here and there, the spectators will hardly notice the cracks. They don't understand how stained glass works. Nope. Not in the slightest. Unfortunately, I don't have, have any to hand at present. While I run off to fetch some bonding agent from the Alchemist Guild, perhaps you could try piecing the broken glass back together. Don't worry, I'll show you how it's done don't need to show me how it's done. Are you ready to begin? Yes! And yeah, controls.
Take that. Thank you. <laughs> don't wanna. No, it, it, it totally did a don't wanna. Come on, you go right there. There you go. Yeah, that's not how steam glass works. No, no, it's not. Okay. Yes, that's perfect. With a few dabs of it, he's if it'll be as good as new. Well, almost. He should certainly suffice for the time being, though. All's well that ends well, yes? The children were besides themselves with worry, but now they're as delighted as I am. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, just a moment of nostalgia. I know from first-hand experience that moment of horror that comes when breaking an expensive piece of glass. A few years ago, I was helping Aston with one of his ventures as an art dealer. I was in desperate need of gill, so he hired me to transport a few pieces. That was when I dropped a case containing some valuable stained glass, and I'll never forget the awful sound it made. But rather than curse me for my clumsiness or fret over the money it had cost him, his only concern was whether I'd cut myself on any of the shards. So you see, that's why I don't blame the children for their little misadventure. I suppose I'm following Aston's example. Hmm. Actually, there's one more favor I'd like to ask of you. Oh, I'm listening. I'm all ears. I think if Aston were to see my stained glass, it might remind him of the days when things were more... when there were things more important to him than money. Of course, I've tried various approaches in the past, and most of what I say to him goes in one ear and out the other. But if it were to come from someone else, such as your good self... He might be more inclined to listen. Do you mind having a word with him? You're too kind. Perhaps you could start by handing him the, this flyer and going from there. I expect he's in the quicksand, where he carries out much of his business. His clients tend to be a bit more malleable when they're in their cups, it seems. Anyway, if you could rouse his interest in the festivities, we'll leave the rest to him. Mm-hmm. There he is, hiding in the corner. Being a wallflower. He's holding up the wall. Public service, don't you know? I remember you. Ben's assistant, yes? Or maybe he's yours. Either way, I appreciate you looking out for him. He needs all the help he can get. Although I must say, if you've if you've something that requires my attention, I'd rather you kept it brief. Well, have a flyer. Art is good for the soul. Yes, I know all about Ben's exhibit, thank you. Keeping my ear to the ground as I do, there's little that goes on in an old awe that escapes my notice. So why did he send you to advertise it to me? Because he wants you to be there, sticky head. He wants to remind me of the good old days. 
I might have guessed it'd be something as soppy as that. Lots changed since then, but he's still the same daft sod he's always been. Not that it, it's necessarily a bad thing, mind you. It's the sentimental side that allows him to create such evocative works of art. But I always felt that if he tried to make a living out of it, he'd lose the very essence of what it makes his pieces so special in the first place. Rather than expressing himself, he'd have to pander to the taste of wealthy but fickle clients to turn a profit. That's why I wanted to earn enough for the both of us, so he'd be free to pursue his dreams. Well, he doesn't need me to pay for his bed and board anymore. I'm still around to help him if he falls on hard times. And just to make it perfectly clear, it's not that I don't want to attend the exhibition. I decided not to go because if people were to think that Ben is associated with a money lender like me, it would ruin his good reputation. But if he insists I go, perhaps I can make an appearance without drawing too much attention. Tell him I'll think about it, would you? Now, I will make a slight note here. His dress? I don't think that's in the game currently. Mm -hmm. I think that's something upcoming because I have never seen anyone ever wear that before. Well, now you have. Just so you know, I'll think about it does not mean the same as yes. I will give it due consideration, though. So I think we're getting a preview of something to come. They do that occasionally. Never. Oh, I've got quite a little audience here. Mm hmm. So, what did he say? Hmm. I'll just have to wait and see. Whatever the outcome, I'm very grateful for all you've done. And I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear I've saved you the perfect spot from which to view the event. <laughs> yep. And hi there, Yoshi P. Citizens of Olda, by my words, be transported to the days before the calamity, a time when all hope seemed lost. As the lesser moon hung low in the sky, a wave of terror washed over this fair city, turning neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother. Here, in the midst of chaos, she stood defiantly, and so our tale begins. Hearken now to the Sultana's Seven. Which is being edited for time. <laughs> Astonishing. I can see the events of that fateful day in my mind's eye as vividly as I see you now. Such a profoundly moving performance it would surely have touched the hearts of everyone in attendance. Austin, you came after all. An artist you may be, but subtle you are not. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to prefer him the hand of succor. A message to all of Voldad, I'm sure, but also one meant specifically for me. I have to admit, the Sultana made a good point, and it still stands to this day. Maybe it's time I thought about earning an honest living. I knew you'd come around sooner or later. And Aston, I can take care of myself now, you, so you needn't go to such lengths to support me. I'm glad to hear it, but let's get one thing straight. I didn't become a moneylender just to cover your expenses while you curved out a career as an artist. I just didn't want you to compromise your ideals and the quality of your work for the sake of keeping a roof over your head. Now you can concentrate on doing what you do best, bringing joy to people through your art. 
And as for me, I should find a better use for my skills. Perhaps I could go back to being an art dealer. That way, you can create whatever works you please while I seek out potential buyers. Certainly beats me eh, making commissioned pieces for some pretentious buffoon. You're suggesting we go into business together? Yes, if you ha unless you have any objections to working with a very recently reformed moneylender. Of course not, and I know just where to start. Producing more pains featuring the Sultana and her seven trusty followers. Imagine the streets of Old Dawn lined with stained glass depicting its illustrious history. The sparkling jewel of the desert will shine brighter than ever. This is more than I could have dreamed of. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your kindness, uh, Saludonia, Rena. You probably hear effusive words of praise quite often in your line of work, but I sincerely mean it. Thank you for all you've done. Oh, and there's one other thing I meant to tell you. The wandering minstrel was, uh, wondering if he could have a word with you. In fact, he has a present of sorts to give you. He should be somewhere nearby. Best of luck finding him. No, no, we know where Yoshi P's hiding. <laughs> and it's not even the bar. And for those playing at home, um, we have the Sultana in the middle. We have the Buki brothers, who are the heads of the Thaumaturgist Guild. Mm -hmm. We have Papa Sean, who during uh, 1.0, I believe, was the head of the Sultan Sworn. And this fellow here is Pippin. I had not realized that he had come in in uh, 1.0. Yeah. You actually don't meet him until late in AR Plus content. Yeah. I don't want to say much more than that because I don't want to spoil it too much, but... Mm-hmm. We'll get there some year. Pippin's a cool dude. Yeah, Pippin is great. Hello, Wandering Minstrel. Said you wanted to talk with us? Ah, you are come as I knew you would. Jabentia speaks very highly of not only your skill at piecing together broken glass, but your loyalty and compassion. Your virtues are many and varied indeed. Were it not for your contribution, the festival would have been without its centerpiece. My accompaniment of song was not but a garnish to the fine dish that was our mutual friend's, friend's glorious work of art. Perhaps you will allow me to express my gratitude with another piece I have composed. Cloud moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not ominous. Hello, Dalamud. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> Greetings, Warrior of Light. You needn't be alarmed. There's something we haven't seen yet. <laughs> this is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Naoki Yoshida. Yoshi P. So, yeah, we're getting a message straight from the head person of for FF14. They do this every year. 
Ah, self-inserts. It gives me great pleasure to finally meet you, brave soul who's chosen a life of adventure. Your travels have taken you to lands far and wide, and you have encountered people of all walks of life, each with their own ideals, hopes, and dreams. As time flows onward in a never-ending spiral, the course of history is guided by mortal hands. Though our existence be brief, our deeds echo for eternity. Seven years have passed since the lesser moon descended. Seven years since mankind rose from the ashes. It was a spectacle none shall ever forget, and that they live to tell the tale is cause for both celebration and reflection. When we cast our minds back, it is not sorrow that fills our hearts, but joy. For we have been afforded a second chance, that we may learn from the lessons of the past. As we set forth towards new horizons, those with a thirst for adventure will lead the way. While there may be hardships and strife on the road ahead, there is no obstacle that we cannot overcome if we believe in ourselves and each other. Countless kindred spirits share our journey, and it is through mutual respect and understanding that we may create a better world. The future is what we make it, by our words and deeds, and we will forever be at your side, brave adventurer. You have our undying gratitude, now and always. The time has come for this vision to end. Time for your, uh, for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Ever will we be watching over you and your deeds. Guide the realm unto peace and happiness, warrior of light. I don't think we've really gotten that title yet. Yeah, Foxfire. And they have more or less the same message every year. Different versions of it. And lo, you're returned. Pray tell, are you left with pleasant memories, fleeting through, though they may be? That is well. For such visions are wont to fade all too quickly, as the morning dew and the light of a rising sun. Mayhap another of my verses would make a suitable gift ere we part. In the wake of calamity, light descends once more to eliminate a world reborn, risen from fires of war. Neath the eyes of heaven, deception crumbles to dust. Those divided by malice, united by bonds of trust. On fields awash in crimson, battle raged far and wide. In the name of liberty, the courageous few turn the tide. Unto a distant realm, drowned in radiance unrelenting, strides forth a harbinger of night, iron will unbending. For the sake of their loved ones, there are those who take to the battlefield, and yet those who remain behind have their roles to play. Protectors and the protected, providers and the provided for, principles upon which every nation is built. It is the duty of those who rule to ensure that these elements are kept in balance, even as they must face great peril. The words of the Sultana ring as true here in the here and now as they did on that fateful day. May each of us take them to heart as we face the new dawn as one.
You have unlocked the Jigsaw Puzzle mini game. Woohoo! And I will say, I kind of poked at it. Oh my freaking god! It is a full-on like forty-piece jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and we get a uh, wall mount uh, piece of art for when we actually have an apartment or something. The faithful recreation of stained glass artwork that adorned the main stage of Old Da's Rising Festival. The historic moment when Nanamo El Namo and her seven most trusted followers confronted a bang crowd and restored peace of the city is, is captured for all of its glory. For aesthetic reasons, however, the artist has wisely chosen not to include the angry mob. Yes. And wind up Albert. Yes. What he lacks in size, he makes up for in heart and his disproportionately large axe, which... Yeah, yeah, he has a disproportionately large axe. And normally we'd read the minion out, but uh, it's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they are going directly into um, Shadowbringer's territory. And hold on a moment. Yes? So, you know, since we've basically finished all of that, and, you know, it's a big celebration and fireworks... Okay. Okay, you get a good night's sleep, dear. Thank you for coming. At least you got to see Yoshi P. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, every year, the Rising Festival is effectively a love letter to the players from the development team. Last year, yeah. they did a thing where it was a bunch of messages in the bottle, and they were each messages oh, yeah. of every single department head yeah. of the production yeah. team. And it was just. Who's chopping onions, damn it? <laughs> <laughs> and the year before that was the kind of the invasion of the city. Yeah, where they recreated um, the monster outbreak that precursored the actual fall of Dalamud. Yeah. Where demons and morbles were just taken to the street and all the players were trying to defend them. And apparently the developers couldn't keep up with the players. Oh god. <laughs> I was a very weak god. The players <laughs> the players were the real gods. Because <laughs> there's there is a uh, documentary about it and one of the guys was saying, you know, the developers basically gave me all these codes so I could go in and strike the city with all these disasters and everything and spawn all these monsters and basically just cause all sorts of havoc. I was a god. I was a very weak god. Because <laughs> <laughs> the players were just instantly killing everything within sight. Yeah, especially on a couple of servers, they got very organized. Uh, if you get a chance uh, on YouTube, uh, look where up... Where are we going? Uh, bullet Crawl. Uh, look okay. up No Clip. It's a three-part series. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, no Clip specializes in documentaries about gaming, and they did one about the fall and rise of fourteen. F of fourteen. Because yeah, am I going to um, be able to do my ninja or my rogue quest? <gasps> yes, or at least some of it. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get. <laughs> But yeah, rising every year, it's like, no, wait, it's cutting onions. <laughs> There's a lot of dust in this room. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy to be a player. Yeah. Well, part of it is... And unlike... I will just cool my heels out here. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> unlike a lot of other games, this development team actually really, really considers the player base. They don't see them as, oh, uh, you're our money pit for loot boxes and throwing a subscription at. 
and which is actually kind of rare nowadays. Hello, Jackie. You're gonna make me do your lousy Cockney uh, thief chant, aren't you? Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. <sighs> Jackie's rogues have new information about on the final missing treasure. I was wondering when you'd show up, Renna, but bugger me if you don't look like you're ready to mill an entire crew of sods by yourself. And Benny, that ye are, cause we finally uncovered some hand. Nah, we finally uncovered some hard facts about the last treasure. Won't be long before we cloy the wind in peace and put the daft challenge to bed. All right, I've gathered the, I've gathered the other clothes for a meeting, so let's get down to it. You know, I could actually do the reading on him. <sighs> Should I? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just, you know, guy. I'm supposed to do the guy voices. I I've been doing so it all this, this time, so... <laughs> okay, okay. At long last, the black sarcophagus has given up its secrets. Underfoot, you some, new you some news for us? Hi, Jackie. I think half our troubles in whittling the truth that lay in calm this thing... Er, I think half our troubles in whittling the truth of it lay in calling this thing a treasure. The black sarcophagus ain't no Denver bauble. It's a mark... F what is that? 11? No. What is L? Uh, 50. So 51. <laughs> It's the Mark 51 Magitek mine, a bleeding prototype explosive that was bitten from an Imperial transport vessel. And even though it ain't that big, maybe the size of a small cargo box, they say it blast half a kick into an... Ah. They say it, the blast have enough kick to incinerate a bloody behemoth. Seems the Garlings meant to start a production at their facilities in La Nasea, then distribute the mines throughout Castor Mer Merlin. Lucky, some plucky privateer cloyed the prototype in route then, eh? An experimental weapon. That explains why the fellow Socrates was so bleeding eager to bid on it at the auction, and so reluctant to share the details with us. At least now we know what, but there's still a question of where. The Kurs deliver in their bitten goods to the reformists, that much is certain. What happened to the sarcophagus after that, though, we ain't so sure. There's been no reports of huge explosions or the like, so either the executioners still have the mine, or they're peddle it to some other buyer. The reformists faction came together to out their shared hatred for the Admiral and her ways. I'm guessing they didn't cloy that bomb just to sell it. What is it, Lonnie? A letter for you, Jackie. Says it's urgent. A letter? Who's it from? The old man. We found it while I was sorting through some of our daily deliveries. Let's see now. Come to Thanalos. I have urgent news. I never knew the old man to summon a customer. No one's seen him at his usual haunts for a while, so I do... So do you reckon it's some more rum morsel he's dug up just for us? Aye, it could be. Rena, you and me are to head to Thanalos. Underfoot, the keb? Ye to take another stab at pinning down the location of the old sarcophagus. Okay, 
off to Thanalos. Now, where was Thanalos again? <laughs> see. Thanalos! Looks like Upper Lanosea. Near Oakwood. Right. And I'm going completely the bloody wrong direction, aren't I? I don't know. Mm. It's your quest. Why does La Nosea have to be a freaking warren? <laughs> my new mount! <laughs> the crowd! The crowd! <laughs> I like the fact that the room tone changes depends depending on how many players are in an area. Yeah. Hey peeps, hey Marshmallow. There we go. Yeah. My new mount. It's awesome. It's a pity that Baron missed this. Unfortunately, it can't fly. Oh yeah, I'm bored. Is someone bored that. in the back seat? Look at that. <laughs> The fact that I could actually drive this way is actually kind of amusing. <laughs> but yeah, you are a bored bun bun. There. Yeah, taking taking the backwards facing seat is just asking to be bored. Excitement? You still look bored. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm trying to be better. Yeah. Well, whatever. Go, little Chocobo, go! <laughs> yeah, they just came out with this uh, mount on the bog station uh, during the week. I instantly had to jump on it because I've been kind of saying we needed a chocobo carriage in game for ages. For yeah, I know. A multi -person I, mount. I am tempted to get my own. Because the car is neat, but this is more meta. Yeah. <laughs> or less meta. It's playing to the game's meta. And trust me, in places like Eureka, having a multi-person mount is a godsend. Yes. Oh, good lord, yes. Because generally you're trying to run around in a group to farm fates and having one person go, we're going here, while someone else is doing uh, some tracking work on what pops and what weather conditions.
Though apparently there's rumbles of them possibly doing an eight person now. And it's like, that would be impressive. Ooh. An entire full party. Yep. Yeah. I've got a funny feeling that it's going to be needed for the new Rebellion front when it shows up. Mmm. I wonder if this is my quest. What do you think? Mm, I don't think so. I don't see anything there. Hello, Marshmallow. Hello, peeps. What are you oh, talking about? He There's looks... nothing here. Where'd they come from? Hey! He doesn't look so good. And I have no AoE. Why do I have no AoE? Speak for yourself. I have no AoE. Really? Really, Mr. Cobalt Footman? You really want to put a part of this? Apparently he does. And so does the Bumble Beetle. Yeah. Two of them, in fact. Okay, Cobalt. So... We'll see you online in a little bit. You be safe. Yeah. Oh. So, um, that was the quest, right? To kill the Bumble Beetles? I don't know, I'm in cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your time, darling. We opened up the snagger's rickled throat bells ago. Oh, sorry. Huh? You cross the bloody executioners and you get what's coming to you. Did you like our message? Wasn't sure if you'd fall for it, but my is mystery. But a little mystery goes a long way, eh? Now, don't be like that, darling. Me and my mates don't have much of a choice. When the boss says, go play with the rogues, we gotta go play with the rogues. After all, we never asked ye to come ruin our game now, did we? And don't give me that long-winded speech about your precious code. The reformist versions stretch far beyond what them tired old rules are it's good for. Once Captain Airbisher take command of the executioners, it'll give us back the teeth we lost when we submitted to the Admiral's leash. We'll be the terrors of the seas once more, free to rove and plunder in a new age of pirate glory. And I'll bathe in blood to see that age come to pass. I'll kick down ye shake kitten code and have ye sneak, sneaky heads on the chopping block. Like hells you will. Only sentence. The only sentence would been passed here today is yours. Hey. Well, hello, darling. Ain't you a fine looking lad? I've heard all this prattle afore. Free the pillage and plunder, is it? I it'll all sounds good, but ye don't think of the price. That shite stinking code is the only thing that keeps your bloody codes from milling one another. Without it, without Limsa Lamenza to call home, you'd be adrift in an ocean of quarons. But if ye so keen to keep company with the dead, I'll be sudden happy to oblige. He was prettier with your god shut, but now I can't see I'm out of my depths here. As much as I'd like to lop off your noggins, I'm afraid I'd be satisfied with dragging you to way out here in the wilds. Keep you well out of the way, haven't I? Out with it then. Isn't it obvious? You stubborn scallies is looking to swipe our new toy, and my job is to stall ya. The captain 
as me ah, the captain has me with I am right now he's set to show the rest of the executioners and he's got the stones to sit in the leader's chair and what better way to do that than executing the bitch that snaps the chains in our crew he's targeting the admiral herself you plan to blow the up the command room ain't ya I if me I you have me permission to panic of course, if you'd rather steer clear of the city, I'd be glad to keep you company right here. Sweet me. <laughs> yeah, that's going well. Yeah, can I just, like, snicker snacker? <laughs> Bloody executioner. You think you can cat? You can stop, Captain Ashimer. If you spout your some wings, then maybe you might. <laughs> Aetherite travel. It's a thing. Yeah, you think? We've got this mad mort at our mercies, but she seems to be enjoying herself. I'd better drag her back to the guild and see what other information she'll spill. And you'd be back in Limsa as well, but you've business at the foremast first. You should find Captain Milala at her post there. Forget about the Sun challenge and tell her everything we know. Unless me judgment's well off kilter, she'll know what needs to be done. Love you too! Yeah. Definitely enjoying herself too much. Yeah, thank you. So I have something for you to do. Huh? Yes. What? Uh, character? Companion? What rank is, uh, Peeps? Ooh, Peeps is rank three? Yeah. Peeps is rank three. Increased HP. Mm -hmm. Which means another rank and we get to Choco Cure. Ooh, Choco Cure. Yeah, that won't make a big difference. You know, I think this uh, little chocobo on this carriage is smaller than our actual chocobos. We can find out. It's definitely smaller than the, like, Urza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm much more attentive this way. Yes, yes you are. You don't look as bored. Run, little chocobo, run! Yeah, you look less bored. I'm still <laughs> bored, though. Just less bored. Something like that. Well, it doesn't help we don't have a speed increase here. <laughs> I think someone's trying to check out our mount. you can hear the balloons squeaking together as they uh as you travel hmm. along is hilarious <laughs> i'm not getting that fully it's very really... soft so the music might override it remember because i'm not moving the music is at its lowest mm. for me mm. all i'm really getting is the footsteps of the chocobo yeah, you, you can actually hear some of the other wagon rocking back and forth and the balloons kind of expanding, or the air, the cerulean and the yeah, airbags. Yeah. Uh, it can. Um, I 
I yeah, actually... but I, I was trying my camera all over the place. It might just be you have to. It has to be your mount to well, get all the. Uh, also, sound the fact that I have my camera or my sound set to what my character would hear, hmm. not what the camera hears. Yeah, but you know, even going pretty much all the way in, I'm not getting anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I purposely have the audio set to the character, that way I can quickly adjust where the character needs to be, just based on sound cues. Uh, I, I have a friend who does the entire rating thing with no sound whatsoever, and I have no clue how they do it. No. Because half the things I respond to are actually audio cues, not visual cues. Who's that? Uh, Jareth. Oh, okay. So not in uh, this game. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, the sound tends to over sim sim stimulate him, so he turns mm, it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we went to the wrong place. I'm sorry. It's your quest. My bad. I forgot we had to talk to... Talk to her. Oh, yeah. Ah, taking the other seat. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Yeah, you're you're far more relaxed in that seat. Yeah, I'm. I was hoping that you know, like, maybe depending on race or something, uh, you'd get slightly different poses. But those are pretty much the exact same poses Rilea was having. I mean, you do get some for the extremes, like the Lala Fell will have a lot different posing. People still remember. don't understand how Lala Fell drive the uh, cars. Yeah, well. Because <laughs> they're literally standing on the seat. Uh, I seem to remember the posing um, for like us and, you know, Riley and Theron are different in the car. Yes, they are. Probably because male, female. Well, that and, but I think also if we get the buns in the car, it'll be different. We'll I see. Think. Milala. Nope. No one there. Oh, you're one of Jackie's rogues. You've come to see all the sorrows, have you? Well, you shan't have them. As you can see, they're safely classed to my very own... Um, you're not here for the earrings. The Emerald, you say? Are you sure that these fiends are in possession of the sarcophagus? I must deploy more sentries at once. Do not think this voids our challenge, Rogue. And you can relay that... And you can relay as much to your impugnant guildmaster. I suppose you can thank him for the warnings as well. So generous. Oh, wait, Q. Yeah, Q. Chocobo wants to run. Run, mm -hmm. Chocobo, run. This mount's awesome. Kind of hard to drive, yeah. but. Okay, this time I'm getting sound effects. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was just too bored to hear them before. <laughs> Very possible. Yeah, 
Remember, big ears does not mean that uh, you hear better. It simply means that you have radiators. Something like that. We actually doing this this time? Yes, yes we are. We're heading to the Rogues Guild. Sorry guys, this might run over a little, but hopefully only by a minute or so. <laughs> Which all things considered is not bad. Next week will be more jobs. Yes, because we'll have ninja and warrior to do, right? Mm-hmm. Which start here in Limza, so we're kind of set up for oh, it. Oh, yeah. And it's basically, we've, we're have we finally getting done with doing all the class quest finishing. Okay, Lonnie, I need to go inside. And I'm probably going to do party now because I know it's going to run into a solo duty. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jackie, I, I warned Milala, and well, she says thanks, and we're still on. <laughs> so the jackets are on the move. Bene. I've been listening to all that adult pirate crackle since I got her back to the sisters, but she ain't give us not that we didn't already know. And we know more than enough. I say we rally the rogues and go after that mine before it blows up in our mums. You'll need all the edge you can get for what's to come, so let me introduce you to a new trick. This one's called Shadow Fang. Do it right and you'll see your opportunities start to wither afore you. Even the toughest swads will be wondering why their needs are trembling halfway through the fight. I tell you, it's the best to sink your fangs in early, but I'll, but I'll sure a clever last like you'll figure that out. And that's my dot. Delivers an attack with a potency of 200, additional effect, damage over time, potency 90, duration 30 seconds. Does not share a recast time with any other action. Cloying victory. Jackie needs you to join his rogues in an effort to reclaim the black sarcophagus. If the leader of the reformists is his captain, Ashenbeard, I've been planning on milling the admiral with a bang, then my guess is he'll be aiming to demolish the entire command room. You know that the mizzenmast, eh? Right? The tower that holds down the drowning winch and bulwark halls? The Admiral's bridge in her command room, all right there on top of it. And then you got this. And then you got the distinct. Or the district, what sounds the mizzen mass, and that the busy, beaten heart of the city. Even with the threat of an attack, you just can't seal it up in the blink of an eye and call the whole thing Bob. Try to explain the dangers to the coals that live and work there. And they'll, and then they'll have a frightening stampede mob on your fumbles. Nay, alas, our only problem, our only option is to have eyes milching every approach to the tower. And I'll put wind out to as many coves as I can and spread them through the streets. Your job is to cover the aft castle. And just wait and see, Renna. 
We'll get these Abishir and his little bomb too. <laughs> there is a naked Ara in the room. Find it, Mr. Naked Ara. Okay then. So I need to head to the Air Castle. And it's raining. Of course it's raining. How it's can this been raining get the, better? Since, we went, since you went in. Oh my god, that's so depressing. Hmm? It's been raining all this time? No, I took my weapons out to do a ninja run. Or maybe I have to be ninja. Ah. But normally I should be backflipping. And I'm not. That's like half the appeal of ninjas to be able to run and flip. <laughs> uh huh. And the truth is out. No wonder Theron is a fake ninja. He is not a fake ninja! He is a real ninja! Nin nin! <laughs> the entire guild agreed. Destination. Level sink in effect. Yep, no more than 34. I think you're fine. Interesting to watch all these scenes while I'm getting answers. The Keb's being stealthy, we needn't interrupt her. <laughs> Ugh, the fog picked up a grand night to roll thick in. This will make things interesting. Our presence on the streets is far too thin. Where's the reinforcements I ordered? My apologies, Captain. There just aren't that many more soldiers to spare. The bulk of our forces has already been assigned to guard not only the Admiral, but the number of high rank of personnel as well. Unacceptable! How could the Commodore Rayner be thinking? These are dangerous criminals stalking the city as we speak. Call in squads from outposts if you must, but I want to see our security tightened and the populace properly protected. But Captain, we can't be certain the pirates' plan hasn't changed. If we consider the possibilities that they've switched to a target outside, outside the walls, it would be a folly to weaken those defenses. Humph, you've made your point, Sergeant. Return to your post. Once all this is lost, it is far too late to question what one should have done. You seem troubled, sir. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I've been dying to meet you, lass. I keen to set eyes on the bold yellow belly who cost our curs a fortune in old dark coin. You, you're a bloody executioner, one of Abishir's men. Ice. 
You've strayed f too far into the world you don't understand, lass. Your eyes is fixated on the light of justice and leaving you blind to the chasm open at your feet. At least they'll say you died with your boots on. The yellow alleys won't be bothering us no more, Captain. As for the mine, the lads have already primed it in front of the winch by the time you got there. Good. Not long now before we drag that bitch admiral to her pretty tower and all the simpler curs down at the bottom of the sea. Then I'll raise our flag over the ruins of the mizzenmast and lead our brethren in to return to the old ways of bloodin' and pundering. Shouldn't I had Dallas? Bottle. <laughs> Bottles. The wife's gonna <laughs> kill me. Eh? What's that in? Not after the command room. They mean to bring down the entire tower. The mizzen mass falls. The bridge will follow half the city will. Please, you must help me. The danger far greater than we. Bloody hell, so I've had a life. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't see nothing. Didn't she nothing. Please, you must send word. Someone must be told. Did you? Your valiant and forthright weapon. You can hear that single pistol shot from Mom's way. Weren't hard to guess what happened. I poked the yellow jackets on me way over. A healer will be along shortly. Benny. That means we've only one last thing to do. You've never been allies, but I beg you. You must, you must stop them, you save the city. Aye, lass, you know you don't need to ask. Taking down mad coves ain't fighting back what's been bitten is our job. You all set then? Ready, Jackie. 
always. Then let's go cloy that sarcophagus and finish Eshabir if our new coffin. a bow. Yeah, well... Just remember, the timers always stop at two. Not this one! the other two detonators. It's been too long. Wait. Yeah, there's the sarcophagus. Yeah. Okay, two down, one to go. Whew, glad I missed that one. Okay, all three 
detonator's taken care of. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you're first. Well, he is a bloody executioner. Shots of Lemza. Status report The mine has been disabled, and the engineer should have it safely removed. None of our soldiers have seen some serious injuries in the battle with the reformists, but none were fatal. Also, the Admiral sends her sincerest gratitude. Hmm. Look! There she is! The Captain Malala! Hero of Limza Lomenza! Are you recovered from your wounds, Captain? We heard how uh, you were very nearly lost your life stopping the horde of pirates to blowing up the mizzen mast. Three cheers for the Yellow Jackets! Our city would be lost without ye! But wait, that's not how it. Sergeant, where are the rogues? Did they survive the battle? Don't really know, Captain. All we found near the sarcophagus was the reformists, either dead or struggling, strung from the rafters. Alive then. It would seem we are in deeply in their debt. Uh, Captain? Might I have the sor silver sorrows from you now? We've been ordered to hand them over to the Commodore along with the black sarcophagus. Why, of course, they're right he The earrings! I could have sworn I was still... <laughs> <sighs> he wouldn't have. He stole them from me while I was, like, dying? That... that cat! I knew he was not to be trusted! <laughs> Keep an eye on them, indeed. I should have known. Are you sure about this, Jackie? He could have just cleared the sarcophagus as well. Eh, I think she's earned it, don't you? If it bothers you that much, think of it as a trade. <laughs> if you ask me, they look a bit daft. Well, I didn't ask you. Now that the Jacks... It's ended up with the mine, and we got the diamonds and the earrings, which means victory belongs to the Rogues Guild. Do you think Malala will leave it all at that, then? I've got a feeling we ain't done with her yet. I'd say we're done with her challenge, but you never know when our paths will cross again. We'll just have to wait to see what Linza's underbelly spits up next. Hi. This city ain't ever quite for. No. I this city ain't quite for long. 
Well, it's been a pleasure working with you, Rena. If you ever need a trusty pair of stabbers by me side, I'll know who to ask. I'm off as well. Bloody starving I am. Don't forget to yaffle a bit when you can, eh, Rena? We'd best head back to the sisters, too, before the true decides she'd rather hear us cry cockles. Been a working, Rena. Be seeing you soon. Listening to a very cut down kind of mall version of answers was getting a bit much. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah. You should be. Sorry? Not sorry? Uh huh. You keep being sorry. Okay, Lonnie. Let's see if I can grab a finger and sandwich or two before they get in here. Bismarck's best. Oh there, Rena. Been nice to finally have a bit of rest, eh? The job's never in, but even a dim dabber like myself needs to breathe every now and again. Ah, yeah, venturing mates be, must be wondering where you got to. That was a proper long assignment, but I'm glad you decided to see it through. You'll probably be... Yeah, you've proven to be a stalwart protector of the code, even if there ain't truly your world. When you walk back into the limelight light mountains, you'll have to find your own cold death hold. And when you do, you have the skills you learned in the shadows to help you defend it. Well, that's more than enough prattle. Ah. Well, that's more than enough prittle prattle out of me. Your travels might take you far and wide, Rena, but you know you always are welcome here at the sisters. I get to take the money. Thank you. Mm, money. Jackie, I'll, I'll, I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to go up to the winch and have a good stout ale. I kind of need it after that quest. <laughs> <laughs> that means tomorrow we can actually work, or not tomorrow, but that next week. I was going to say. We can work on our jobs. Another job. Gotta remember, the reward for a job well done is another job. Yeah. Kind of takes on extra meeting in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we actually got a lot done, and mm -hmm. that ending quest for the Rogue is probably one of the longest class quest endings in the game. And this is one knowing how to do it. If I was doing this cold, uh, like the first time with Theron, I did it like four times because I kept oh. running out of time because I couldn't find the detonators. Yeah, that'd be a problem. Because they are heeding.
but thank you all very much for coming along this evening. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully next Saturday we will continue our climb in Heaven on High. We should get back to hopefully level 70. Uh, we're at what? Uh, 30? 40? 41, I think? Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> And then, of course, jobs next week, and then once yeah, we... Yeah, be 41. And then once we get the uh, jobs taken care of, we can get back onto MSQ. Which would what? be awesome. You mean, you mean there's a main story? Yes, there's a main story! It's been so long. I know, it's been weeks. Um, and, of course, we also need to get our fourths up and going, especially me. Hmm. Oh, and don't forget, we still need to do at least the starting bit for the yokai quest. Ah, okay. That, yeah, we're high enough. There's no reason they wouldn't let, let us do it. Yeah, it, it, the big trick is... Um, I figured we'll only do like the first weapon and first minion, because they kind of hand you the first yeah. minion. And yes, the first weapon is five tokens as opposed to ten. The big trick is that right now, everyone is running around on flying, which means that anyone who doesn't have flying, is, yeah, unless they're in a, a group with a multi-mount, is going to have a heck of a time trying to get the to the fates before they pop. Yeah, the good news is as it goes on, the amount of the population doing that should go down. Yeah, this is true. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of banging on that for these two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Sorry we ran a little over time, but I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. We will see you next week. Be safe. Be well. Yeah, everyone have a great week.